basing on my hardware with the simulator running. I will show you a little stress test with which you will be able to determine if your computer is strong enough or needs some upgrades. My computer is old now, I think that we can classify it as mid to high end because of its age, but I'm able to play the new Microsoft Flight Simulator without any problem. So these are my specs. As you can see, I have only the GPU updated to the new generation, the rest is still old. So let's start the stress test. As you can see, with low settings, I have 30 FPS stable, CPU 60 to 70 percent, GPU 60 to 65 percent, and the memory usage 13.2. second test with medium settings. I have 30 FPS stable, CPU 60 to 70 percent, GPU 65 to 70 percent and memory usage 13.9. Third test with high settings. I have 25 to 30 FPS. I feel it stable anyway. CPU 65 to 75 percent, GPU 65 to 75 percent, and the memory usage 15.2. Now the third test with ultra settings. I have 20 to 30 FPS. I feel it a little bit heavy. CPU 65 to 80 percent, GPU 70 to 80 percent and the memory usage 15.1. Now, with this data, we can approximately define which hardware you need to play the sim. This is an idea of hardware requirement. Recommended 6-core CPU, 16GB DDR4 memory, GTX 1080 or higher GPU. The minimum requirements are a quad-core CPU, maybe an i5, 16GB DDR3 or 8GB DDR4 memory, and a GTX 970 should be enough. Now, depending on resolution you want to play, you can opt for different solutions. If you play from Full HD to 2K, you need more power on CPU, so you can opt for a better processor. If you play at 4K, you need more power on GPU, so you can opt for a better graphics card. Now, if you want, you can go on userbenchmark.com and compare your hardware with mine so you can find which components are better for you in terms of price and performances. For example, let's take the GPU. You need to set my GPU here. So RTX 2070. Here 
you need to set your GPU. For example, a GTX 1070. Now you can see the difference in price and performance between my GPU and yours. So you can get an idea of what performance you have with your actual hardware and decide if you need to upgrade or not. One advice, if you want to change your CPU, check the CPU socket. If the new one is not compatible with your motherboard, you need to change it too, and maybe even RAM. The bandwidth, I think that is not a problem, because the download of the data in the sim is adaptive to your bandwidth. Anyway, I have 30 megabyte and no problems at all. I will leave you all the data in the video description for a better consultation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.